In this video, I'll show you the best VPN for Canada. Whether you're living in Canada and just want to be able to improve your overall privacy and security, or you're traveling abroad and want to be able to access some of the home content you have in Canada, such as TSN, Crave, CTV, and much more, this video's got you covered. By using a VPN in Canada, you'll also be able to change your IP address to other countries, which allows you to access some of the geo-restricted content that you might find on platforms such as Netflix, so you'll be able to access content that's only available in other countries. This video is going to have my top three VPNs for those in Canada. And at number one, I have ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is my top rated VPN and is the best VPN for people in Canada. Not only does it operate with over 3000 servers to choose from, it also has 90 plus countries that you can pick from and change your location to. When testing the speed of ExpressVPN, we were getting a 10 to 15% speed drop compared to our home connection speed. So let's say your home connection is at 100 megabytes down and up. Well, when connected to the VPN, you can expect about 90 to 95 megabytes down and up. Now, for those focusing on privacy and security, ExpressVPN operates with AES 256-bit encryption, which is the industry standard and best security that you can get when it comes to a VPN. You'll also find this same encryption method used with the other two VPNs that I mentioned in this video, and it's the safest way to use and connect through a VPN. When testing ExpressVPN with streaming services, it was able to unblock any streaming service that we tested it on. So we tested it on Netflix, we tested it on Hulu, we tested it on Amazon Prime, and it worked great for all of them, allowing us to access the global geo-restricted content that's currently out there. Now ExpressVPN does have some downsides. The first is it only allows for five simultaneous connections at the same time. For personal use, this isn't any problem at all, as I'm sure you won't have five devices running with the VPN at the same time. But if you're sharing it, for example, with family members, then it might be limited compared to the other two VPNs in this video, which allow for an unlimited amount of devices. If you want to get a discount on ExpressVPN, then check out the links in the description where you can get over 50% off of your subscription price and three months for free. At number two, we have Surfshark. Now Surfshark is another great VPN for people in Canada as it has tons of locations to choose from and operates again over 3000 servers, very similar to ExpressVPN. The only difference is it's marginally slower when it comes to speeds, but it does have some other features that make up for it. The first is you can use this on an unlimited amount of devices compared to ExpressVPN, which only allows for five. So if you want to share it with family members, then Surfshark is a great option. Now for privacy and security, Surfshark operates with the same encryption method that you'll find in ExpressVPN. And it also has an amazing no logs policy, which has been verified and independently audited. So you know when you're browsing that they're not keeping logs on you or any data on what you actually use the VPN for. For those looking to unblock streaming services, again, Surfshark is another great option and worked great at unblocking nearly every streaming service that we tested it on. Now, if you want to save some money on Surfshark VPN, then check out the links in the description where you can get 82% off of your subscription and three months for free. Now at number three, we have private internet access. Private internet access is again another amazing VPN, but comes in slightly cheaper than the other two VPNs that I've already mentioned. Now, just because it comes in cheaper doesn't mean it doesn't offer you a wide range of features and good speeds. Private Internet Access has servers in over 80 countries and you'll find they have a huge range of servers of over 10,000 that you can choose from and connect to. It also works great at unblocking nearly every streaming service that we tested it on, and it uses the same security and encryption method that you'll find on ExpressVPN and Surfshark. Now, whilst it does operate a great zero logs policy, it is based in the jurisdiction of the United States, and that's something that you have to take into account compared with Surfshark and ExpressVPN, which operate out of the British Virgin Islands and the Netherlands. 
but in my opinion it's still one of the best VPNs for those in Canada and just offers so many features and such quick speeds for such a cheap price. Alongside that it's available on an unlimited amount of devices so if you want to use it on 50 devices at the same time and share it with family members then you can do so. Now, if you're looking for a discount on private internet access, then check out the links in the description where you can get over 80% off of your subscription and get several months for free. So now I've summed up my top three VPNs for those in Canada, and I just want to answer some frequently asked questions that I get. The first is, why do I actually need a VPN when I'm in Canada? Whilst the government doesn't impose severe restrictions on what you can access online, it's still best to improve your privacy and security to stop them snooping on your data. Alongside that, you can access tons of geo-restricted content, which is content that's only available in certain countries. So for example, a Netflix show might only be available in France. So you might have to use the VPN to change your location to France, and then you'll be able to access that TV show. It's also great for those who travel. If you travel abroad and you wanna access some shows that you might be watching back home, or you might not be able to do that in another country. So a VPN is a great way to change your IP back to Canada, and then you can access those TV shows and programs that you wouldn't be able to access before. The next question is, is a VPN legal in Canada? And the answer is yes. Using a VPN is not illegal at all, as long as you don't do any illegal activities when actually using the VPN. But connecting to a VPN, owning a VPN is all perfectly legal. So that sums up my video on the best VPN for Canada. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.